When you come to Medina, you have a choice of getting a hotel right next to the mosque or you can get a hotel that's a little farther, but it's cheaper. So one thing is, if you get one that's a little farther, like let's say like two miles or three miles, whatever, taxis are very, very cheap. If you know Arabic, I'd recommend you just hail a taxi on the side of the street. If you don't know Arabic, I, remember, I recommend you download the Uber app. It's going to be like $3. It'll take you to the mosque, $3 back, $6 round trip. And if you're driving a rental car, parking, driving is a little crazy, but parking, you can park underground, underground right off the mosque, and, um, and that's gonna be one real, that's like 30 cents US. So if you park here for four hours, that's one dollar. Once you park, you can just get out here. And boom, there we are, we're at the mosque already. Perfect, perfect, look at this. Already here. We're about to go there right now. Alright, so we're about to walk in. Walk in first time with your right foot. You have to read this to have. All of them to have right into your mosque. Jannatul Baqi is the main cemetery in Medina. It contains the graves of many prominent members of the Prophet ﷺ's family, as well as graves belonging to the Sahaba, scholars, and righteous people. It is thought to contain the graves of at least 10,000 companions of the Prophet ﷺ. Unfortunately, it is impossible to identify these graves today as they are unmarked. There's only two so far that I found that are different. That grave, every other grave just looks like this. Every other grave. So far, those are the only two graves I've seen. During the Battle of Uhud, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ordered 50 archers to stay on the hill where they were supposed to protect the Muslim army from opposing attacks. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave the archers strict orders not to move. However, during the battle, the archers left their post thinking the battle was over and went to collect the spoils of war. At the same time, the Meccan army attacked the Muslims, which resulted in great loss of life and injuries to the Prophet Muhammad Do is just feed the birds to start off the day, you know. Sit him. Okay, so these are the. This is called the seven mosques because there's seven mosques. So one's right there. That's two. Uh, three. Three is the big one. Yeah. Okay, that's three. Four. Four is that small one right there. Five and all the way over there, and, and then six is in the back. Six and seven is in the back. So right now, we're about to start our journey uh, at Mesjid Al Quba. Uh, we're gonna pray the two rakats here. 
Um, this is the first ever mosque that's built in Medina. And if you pray two rak'ats here, it's equivalent to praying, I mean, it's equivalent to performing Umrah. The whole family here. Mosque here in Makkah Medina. You see fresh stems and water. You got cold, warm options. You got all the options. The sun's coming up. All right, this is Masajid al Qiblatain in Medina. Um, the mosque is has two qiblas, and it's believed that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam received the command to change the direction of the prayer from the, from Jerusalem to Mecca. Which way is this, north or south? Uh, 